estimate, but um, to have an opportunity to send somebody to the for the first time. Now we you know we send guys up and down all day long, but when it's a guy's first time, and Nick Turley's going to go pitch in San Francisco for the Major League Club on Sunday, so that's exciting. So he and Wheels, he and, and Wheeler are the two guys this year that have been first timers. We had a couple last year, so that's <clears throat> that's been a good thing. Uh, good game. Wilkie threw well. <laughs> the one inning. Three hitters, boy, blinking in a three-run thing, and unfortunately it came right after a real good first inning for us, but then he settled down and did his job. The bullpen was excellent. Um, probably made it a little tougher on ourselves than we needed to. Base running mistake in the third. Had a chance to put some runs on the board there. Um, but you keep battling and, you know, obviously break through and get some insurance in the eighth, which was, which was big. Um, so to that end, we keep working, and... Going back to the way I started this with, with Nick, you know, we've said, I don't know, a dozen, 15, I mean, it's that, it can happen that quick. We sent Wimmers, we had roster issues, and we wanted to keep him pitching. We sent him to double A for two or three days, and then things changed again, and we brought him back, and the kid was wanting to pitch, and, you know, you know nobody wants to go to double A, but he, he needed to pitch, he wanted to pitch. Stu did a great job with him, he comes back three days later. Pitches twice here, boom, he's in the big one. So it's it's uh, it's a good time to be here. And if you you know you pitch well and good for Hurl because he Hurl because he comes off that big outing last time. If he doesn't have that outing, who knows what they decide. So anyway, this is good stuff. Good stuff. A great game by uh, uh, Field. Tommy three, had a, yeah, three, he, three he, for four, two he, RBI, he, two runs scored. He's a cleanup and... hitter, so we'll see him in the cleanup spot tomorrow. <laughs> see how that. And two uh, assists and four putouts could be that great diving catch. Yeah, the, the catch was good. But, you know, we, right, we've been watching him. He, this is what he does <laughs> defensively, you know. And, uh, you know, Stu likes a baseball player, and, and that's what he is. And, obviously, when he contributes with the bat the way he did tonight, then that makes it extra special. So, um, But he's usually in the middle of stuff when things are going well, and uh, both on the offensive and the defensive end of it. So, um, so that was big. And Mitch Garver playing left field for the first time yeah, in his pro was, career. We, we took a shot. Uh, you know, he'd been working out there for a while. We spent some time today doing a little early work with him. You know, he's a decent enough athlete, you know, especially for a guy that's catching now. He can play first, as, and we finished the game with him there. But with some of the people we need to keep in the lineup and, you know, the way I'm shuffling, and you know, if he can play some left, we're going to do that once in a while. And, uh, you know, fortunately it worked out well, and, and – uh, when he's not catching, we're going to ask him to spend time at first in the line. Right, because you only have three outfields on the roster, and with Polk, uh, Polk on the uh, DL, right. somebody else has to right. And you got you know, with, with, with Parky and Hager and all the guys we got that we were trying to keep in the lineup and with moving guys around, it, it just makes it a lot easier if if Murph's going to catch and I want to play Garb, you know, if I'm not going to give him the day off, that's another option uh, given where we're at with the rest of the roster. So. So it's okay. I'll probably defense for him late, like we did tonight. <laughs> but uh, we get seven innings of, of him out there, and, and then look if he if he plays a respectable left field, then that's even better. You mentioned about rewarding guys like Wheeler and and uh, Turley for the first time, but especially with a guy like Turley, who's kind of been around for a long time. He's a 50th yeah. round pick. I mean, all that. Uh, does it, is it that one extra special? Went to independent ball, I think. You know, I mean, the whole. Yeah. I mean, anybody. Look. Guys like me, guys like Stu, there's a lot of us in this game that have been, you know, knocking around for a long time. And so you always have a little special place in your heart. You know, the, the top prospect that goes, man, you're thrilled to death, and, and that's good too. But it's it's fun when somebody gets an opportunity like this. And, and there's a lot of guys that have been knocking around for a long time that don't. And whether you're playing or coaching, to get a chance to go to the major leagues is something special. That I know about. So it's yeah, it's always it's always a little extra special when a guy like that gets a chance, and we're just hoping to, you know he's able to grasp it and pitch well in San Francisco.